Meet Amos. This 70-pound purebred chocolate lab is changing the lives of some local girls. The girls you see here in this room are all victims of sexual abuse, all under 18 years old, living in Oakland County. The girls that are here right now are um, ordered by the court because of some criminal offenses they've committed out in the community. So they are sentenced by the court to come to a treatment program, which is about six to nine months. These girls all live here inside this home in Children's Village in Pontiac. They also have their counseling session inside this house. But lately, there's been an extra guest at the counseling session, two-and-a-half-year-old Amos. The chocolate lab is not only here for company, but he's here for comfort and encouragement so these girls can get the nerve to talk about the abuse they suffered and how it's affected them. This girl, we'll call Jessica, is 15 years old. We're not showing her face to protect her identity. She's seen firsthand how Amos has helped. A girl was crying, and Amos was like kind of almost asleep, and then he jumped up, and he ran to her, and he just started looking her face, looking all the tears away, and she just started laughing, and she was in a better mood. This girl, we'll call April, is 16. She, too, is a victim of sexual abuse. She also depends on Amos to get through those tough counseling sessions. You know, the dog's not going to judge you, so the dog, but when the dog knows that you're hurting or because he senses emotion, like Jessica said, it's easier with the dog around because the dog will come in love on you. Jessica and April admit they didn't know what to expect when Amos first showed up, but now they say counseling would not be nearly as effective without him. The memory obviously isn't going to go away. The images that I was thinking about aren't going to go away, but when you're talking, he just kind of makes all of the, a lot of the hurt and the sad go away. We were watching a, a movie about incest and it came back and it was like, I was sitting there and I was just thinking about all my memories and like I started to feel bad. And, and this came up and sat next to me. This is the first time Lauren LaFleur has used a dog in therapy, and she sees firsthand how man's best friend has made a positive impact on these victims. Well, the girls are definitely more relaxed. You see their stress level decrease. When they do start to get a little uncomfortable or upset, you'll see the dog go near them, and I think it's definitely a comfort thing. Amos also helps build self-esteem for these young girls. It makes them, you know, um, adapt better once they return back home and then they're able to face challenges that they may not have been able to prior to coming. So what's the future for these teens? Hopefully healing, growing, and moving on from their past, but not forgetting their new best friend. Amos is in the Canine Advocacy Program and is active in working in Oakland County Courts, actually going to court to give support to victims who will take the stand. Karen Drew, Local 4 News.